Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how I created this magnolia style flower. It's a simple technique with some added coloured shimmers and dark chocolate details. I started with a petal template that I created and printed. This template is on my Pinterest page and the link is in the description box. I'll be creating the petals onto my plastic document cover which I've cut into rectangle shapes that will fit over my petal template. To shape the petals, I'm using an empty paper towel roll which I've cut into half. This creates a nice curve and shapes the petals. For the petals, I'm using white melted chocolate. I carefully spoon a small amount of this into my petal area. I spread it gently and I use a toothpick also to help shape the petal. I then carefully transfer this into the curved mould. I'm angling it diagonally so the petal dries with a slight curve. I create seven petals this way and allow them to dry in the fridge. Once set up, I carefully peel away the plastic backing. I'm left with a petal with a soft curve. To create shape to the overall flower, I'm using a painter's art palette. I line this with some wax paper by cutting a circle from the wax paper and laying it into the cavity. I then arrange my petals into this shape by overlapping them over each other into a circle shape. Because they aren't fixed, you can work with them until you're happy with the overall layout and look. Then using melted white chocolate in a piping bag, I start to fill in the center, focusing in between and under the petals. You still have time now to tweak your petals if needed. Whilst they're setting up, I create veining detail with pink edible shimmer, and I do this on all the petals through the center of the petal. I then do this with a gold edible shimmer also. To finish the petals with a fine tip, I pipe dots and lines with a dark chocolate. I then trim my dark chocolate piping bag a little more and add dots around the center covering the white. I carefully layer the dots on top of one another to create a more raised and textured surface. Once dry, I turn the flower over, holding from the centre and peeling away the wax paper from the base. I further pipe white chocolate to reinforce around the petal seams and the base. And then I reattach the wax paper and allow it to dry. Once totally dry, I peel away the wax paper again and this is the final result. The angled petals create a lovely soft finish to the flower and adding coloured shimmer powders adds more character. You can add more lines and extend the shimmer details further up the petals for a more dramatic look. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you liked it. Please be sure to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching.